Want to make a webtoon using Krita? Me too. Let's check it out. Hey, Walter here. So today we're going to make a webtoon using Krita. I've done a couple other videos using Photoshop and GIMP. Some people are asking for Krita, so let's go ahead and check it out and see how we do it with Krita. All right, so we have our comic here. Let's check out the size of our comic. It is 800 by 10,000 pixels. This is way too big for what Webtoon will let us do. They're going to let us do 800 by 1280 pixels. So we need to get our file down to those sizes. I'm just going to say 800 by 1000 pixels because I like round numbers. So if we want to get our 10,000 pixel tall file to get down to 1000, we need to break it into 10 chunks. So Krita makes this super duper easy, um, almost like they meant for you to do it. So we have our file. We go here. Let's go to image. And then we're going to go to image split. Simple, right? Um, and now we have to pick how many horizontal lines we want it to go down and how many uh, vertical lines. So horizontal lines, we want to do nine, right? Because we want to split it into 10. So we do nine lines, and it's going to cut across those nine lines, nine lines, giving us 10. And make sure you stick your vertical lines to zero. Otherwise, you're going to get cut right down the middle, and you'll have two files on either side. So do nine and zero or depending on what you need. If you need 12 chunks, do 11. If you need 20 chunks, do 19. All right, go there. It should already be on JPEG image, so just tick that, hit apply. It's gonna come up and ask you what folder you want it to go into. So I created one called Krita. Yours is gonna be wherever it is. So select your folder, hit select, and it goes. Now, if we open up that folder, you can see we now have 10 cut files in here. So this is the comic all cut up into nice bite-sized chunks for Webtoon. So, but if you look at this, right, this is JPEG, which is a JPEG file. But Webtoon is like, I want JPEG, but it needs to be the JPG. Um, no ease, right? So this part's a little weird. You could come in here manually and change these. Um, and that would be fine. A JPEG is a JPEG is a JPEG. But if you had 20 of these or 30 of these, that would be a huge pain in the butt. So we can do this technique. It's gonna be a little different. So you can either do it manually or you can do this technique. It's not hard, um, it's just different. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is, um, we're gonna have to, let me switch my screen over so you can see it. Uh, actually, you can see it right here. So you're gonna go down to your window thing, um, and then you want to get in here and type in CMD, that's command, command prompt. So go ahead and open that. And it's gonna open up a DOS window, old school. And so wherever, whatever directory you're in, you wanna go to where you saved your files. So for me, it's CD, which is change directory. And then we go to desktop, um, split, Demo, um, Krita, right? And dir shows you all the files in there. So we have our JPEG files in there. Now it's super simple. You just type REN, rename, and then you want to do star.jpg to star.jpg, right? So JPEG, JPG. So it's asterisk dot the extension name. So just hit enter. And now if we look at it, you can see they're all JPG files. You're good to go. Now if we go back to our folder, boom, they're all there. So the next thing we need to do is we have our files, we just upload them to Webtoon. Right, so we go to Webtoon, we have our comic here, and we wanna add an episode, select an image to upload, boom, uh, give it a title, uh, comic in Krita. Select the file to upload, go to our directory, select all the files. Make sure you click on one and then shift click to 10 because you want to make sure it goes in order. It's uploading the files now, which is a good sign. And then we have our files, make sure they're in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good to go. Um, There you go, and da 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 da, and you just publish it. Yep, be shown to others. Boom, and now you have your two episodes. 
and you go here, make sure it all looks good. That's episode one, go to episode two. And everything is there, it looks like it's in order, so we are good to go. All right, so that's how you upload a comic to Webtoon using Krita. Um, you can use Photoshop, GIMP, whatever. I've done other videos for Photoshop and GIMP, like I mentioned, so if you use those, make sure you check those out. Uh, Krita is definitely the easiest one to use. I don't personally use Krita to draw, um, but if you need to upload to Webtoon or split a file, Krita might be the easiest way to do it. Uh, is there a different program you use? What do you use to draw? Like, for me, I use Clip Studio mostly. Sometimes I'll go over to Photoshop, but what do you use? Um, be sure to leave a comment in the comments. <laughs> Otherwise, be sure to like, link, love, hug, and sub for more sweet, sweet goodness. Peace.